mathematics is a language, you can apply it to anything. And you can integrate data across a business, producing a digital twin, so you can simulate different business demands, simulate different capacities, utilization. You have all these different departments. How do you integrate them to where your data just streamlines and you can really know how the business is running like that dynamically. And if you need to make a change, you have the power to do so. Being agile to respond to business demand, that becomes immensely powerful. Metallus is on the cusp of that. What I love about Metallus and the products we make is, you know, it's, it's engineered material, it's engineered steel for critical applications, whether that's uh, transmission gears in your vehicle, uh, bearings used in outer space, the aerospace industry, we're a specialty metal supply chain solution. So how do we make sure we keep making that seal, keep our quality in check, the raw materials we buy, the things we need to make that steel, they must have integrity. They must be within a certain variability level, certain tolerance and whatnot. And that material must keep flowing. When I joined at the time, Tim can steal now Metallus. My first two years of the company, I was an SBA, steel business associate. I then was placed in our modeling department in R&D as a metallurgical modeling engineer. However, shortly after I was moved to purchasing procurement, which was really a 180 from my background and where I started off in the company. But I, I'm a big advocate of analytics. And I, I have been able to essentially use those skills to benefit uh, the business side of, of Metallus. In 2020, and what happened with COVID, it was, hey, we need to reduce inventories. We need to get levels lean and optimized. So, you know, when I hear this nomenclature optimization, lean, you know, I'm like, okay, being an analytical person, I started with, with what I know best, which is looking at data. These models I built, the algorithms essentially calculate, hey, this is what your electrode inventory should be. This is what your ingot mold inventory should be, directly correlated with business conditions. You talk about data integration, right? So it's top down, hey, we're gonna make the steel. How does that trickle down? How does that integrate with what I need to buy and maintain a level of inventory that correlates with consumption, dictated by demand, that correlates with your lead time, when I first came to Metallus, that's where I was introduced to, to jump and kind of just ran with it. it. It was always ergonomic and very easy to use. Then when I started learning how to script and jump, that's where it be, things became, all right, I can start rocking and rolling now. And that was the catalyst where we were, the mentality was rule of thumb or gut feeling, or we need three months of inventory always just because. It was a lot of Excel and, and, and data tables, and they had essentially their own inventory models. But the, the issue with Excel, and what I do love about Jump is, and this is gonna become immensely important, as we get to integrating data across a company, handing off Excel spreadsheets, that is not an efficient way to do it um, at all. And what I love about Jump is data standardization, it will help you flow better. Again, you can integrate across businesses. We do build models, and then you need other models to essentially connect. Having that data standardization becomes immensely important and honestly critical. When I go to build something, Jump's the only way to go. Since the inception of well, the, these models and the, this effort, the last now going on four years, the order of cost avoidance or you know savings uh, has been in the order of millions of dollars. Um, but the basis comes back to, again, optimization. Once you optimize, based on your business setting, based on your current business demand, it becomes sustainable. Business 4.0, it really is a mirror of Industry 4.0 in the sense of your data is now talking uh, back and forth between departments. When you think of those departments as machines, now being able to talk with each other seamlessly because we built a data ecosystem for the entire company. That's a living, breathing data ecosystem of the business now and everything's talking and you can simulate it in that space. I mean, that just becomes immensely powerful. As far as applying the business 4.0 mentality, my guess would be your manufacturing process. You already have probably some live good data. You need this raw material to feed your manufacturing to make a product, right? So I would start there, manufacturing. All those costs feed into your front end. If you kind of walk through your business, embedding it in a data ecosystem, that's where I would start, or at least start having conversations with those departments of like, hey, this is what we wanna do. We want to be able to have a data streamline across it. When you're building these things, it's an iterative process, especially when you start connecting to different departments or you feed data or take data from other departments. 
Um, there's always an iterative and a learning factor too. Um, but the mentality is with building a model, with coding, you can embed that logic. You can embed whatever custom logic you need or robust logic you need. That it, it really is exciting because I'd say it trickled into the culture at, at Metalis. It's always learning and iterating and it's, con it's the continuous improvement mentality. Kind of comes full circle. How do you run your business better and sustain that? You're talking millions and millions of dollars, you know, years on.